Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robin Hood portfolio. Hope you guys have been having an awesome weekend. Myself, I was able to get out on the bike again this weekend. Got a group of guys together. Uh, went on one of our routes and has a couple pubs on it. Had a few beers at each pub. Uh, did quite a few hours, uh, about five or six hours or so. Knowing this is probably the last time we're going to be able to go out on our bikes. Getting a little bit cold out. Winter is definitely coming, so... Fun to get out and do that last kind of big bike ride for the year, uh, but winter's coming, so I'm kind of bummed out about that, but there's always next year. I have some trainers and rollers I use in the basement as well, so I'll have to get those out. Uh, so hopefully you guys have been uh, also taking advantage of uh, what is left of the uh, fall season here before it starts getting cold, If you're uh, at least if you're in the northern part of the United States. Uh, switching gears here, I kind of want to talk a little bit about Tesla Motors. Uh, I've been watching this stock for quite some time. As you guys know, this is an automotive company, a new automotive company, actually one of the first uh, U.S. auto companies in the last 100 years, uh, founded, by Elon, founded by Elon Musk. Uh, this is a very interesting guy. He founded PayPal, sold that off, had some money, had this grand idea of sending a greenhouse to Mars. Literally, he wanted to take some money and send the greenhouse to Mars. So he went to Russia, was looking for some uh, out-of-commission ICBM missiles, intercontinental missiles to possibly buy and retrofit to send to Mars. Kind of through a convoluted path, he ended up founding a private space company, uh, SpaceX, uh, which is one of the uh, premier sort of uh, uh, private industrial uh, space companies at the moment. And uh, along with that, he also founded Tesla Motors here, essentially an automotive company producing electric cars, but it's also been kind of branching out into the energy business as well. Uh, it produces home batteries, commercial batteries, uh, and it's also getting into uh, solar cells as well. Uh, it acquired Solar City as essentially an installer of um, solar arrays, uh, home uh, solar systems. Um, and with that uh, acquisition, I think it's still actually um, in the process of being uh, acquired. Uh, they're coming out with a whole new line of solar cells that are essentially it's going to be a solar roof. Um, they just had a few videos posted on YouTube. Uh, if you haven't seen those, check them out. The product looks actually pretty cool. Uh, very elegant designed, uh, kind of a modular solar roof. Essentially, they look like shingles or tiles, like terracotta tiles, slate tiles, uh, glass shingles, if you will, that can be kind of put together in a modular fashion uh, to make sort of a solar roof that can power uh, the home batteries that Tesla's making, as well as their electric vehicles um, that uh, we all know of, the uh, Model S, the Model X, or SUV, as well as their Model 3, which will be, it's not currently available, but it'll be coming out uh, early next year, uh, if not mid to late next year. Uh, they always have some delays with those particular cars coming out. Um, they're also producing, uh, I, I shouldn't say producing, they're also uh, constructing the largest factory in the world that's going to be making lithium-ion batteries. And when that factory comes online, they're going to be able to make more lithium-ion batteries in that one factory than the entire world produces today. So kind of a big deal. A lot of different things going on. Uh, as you can imagine, with all these things going on, it's very capital-intensive. The company is always needing extra cash, kind of burning through its capital. Uh, did have a, an earnings report that just came out this past week. Most analysts thought they were going to be losing money again this quarter, like 40, 50 cents per share. But they actually posted a profit, which was quite a surprise. Uh, but despite that, there was really no movement in the stock. You can see here it kind of peaked up, but then kind of came back down 0.51% over the past week. And over the past month and three months, it's down quite a bit here. Over the last year, it's about stable, down 5% or so. And over the last five years, it's up quite a bit. Uh, I'm not sure why that particular chart's not showing, but it's up like three, 400%. So newer company, if you invested early, made a ton of money by now. But over the last uh, year or so, it's been kind of holding steady. Uh, really interesting in this company, not only because it's... Uh, a good investment, but you know, I just kind of like the idea of electric vehicles transitioning to uh, sustainable energy. You know, Tesla's got a real, uh, essentially a, a number of different products, really cool products coming out. It's going to hopefully start uh, helping us shift over to more sustainable energy. You know, having said all that, you know, I would be primarily buying this because it's a great investment. 
Um, one of the things that I thought was quite interesting with this stock is the market cap is $29.6 billion. And if you actually take a look at uh, the other major U.S. auto companies, uh, Ford here has only got a market cap of $47 billion. And GM, kind of surprising, I thought GM was a lot bigger than Ford. Uh, market cap of 40, 47 billion or so. So, Tesla overall, as far as uh, market capitalization, is not that small of a company. It's actually quite a large company, um, doing some very uh, cutting edge things with their electric vehicles. Like I said, their battery systems, solar roofs. So they're really going to have an integrated energy system. Um, they're also really on the front lines of the uh, autopilot technology as well, self-driving cars. Uh, they're also coming out with a heads-up display for vehicles. So uh, with regards to not only you know electric transition, but just technology in general, they're really drivers behind a lot of this stuff. So I think this is a very, very good play. Uh, kind of wanted your guys' opinion, what you think of Tesla. It doesn't have a dividend yield. Like I said, it's uh, essentially investing heavily into expanding its production line. Like I said, the Model 3 is coming online. They're still expanding production for the Model S and Model X. Uh, that Gigafactory is coming online to produce lithium-ion batteries. They're also producing the solar cells and a number of other different technologies as well, like the heads-up displays and some others that are probably not uh, publicly known at this point. But because of all that, it can't really offer dividend yield. It's really it's essentially... It does have a profit investing all that back into the company to uh, continue to expand. So, company I'm taking a look at. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm thinking about maybe putting a little bit of money into this after election and after the rate hike. Uh, again, I like the company. I like uh, what it's doing. I like Elon Musk. Very interesting guy. I think they have a lot of cool products coming out. I think it might be a great investment. It'd be more of a kind of a risky speculative play. Definitely a long play, but. Something I'm kind of interested in. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about uh, Tesla Motors today. Nothing in particular. I know I kind of jumped around with this particular stock, but I've been taking a look at it and kind of wanted to get some opinion on if this is a good buy, this is not a good buy, or what would you guys do? Do any of you guys have this in your portfolio? If you guys do, what are you going to be doing with this? Are you going to be waiting until it jumps up and kind of get rid of it? Are you going to hold it long, like five, ten years? Um, what are you guys doing with this stock if you do have it? If you don't have it, why don't you have it? Is there you know, something I'm not taking a look at that uh, can potentially be risky? I know it's a newer company. It's going to be having a lot of competition from the other major auto companies. Uh, GM's coming out with the Bolt, uh, all-electric car. That actually has a better range than Tesla. Audi and BMW, they're all coming out uh, with some pretty cool cars as well. Uh, Nissan has the Leaf, so... Tell me what you guys think about all these different plays and uh, if this is a good stock. I think I might dive in, buy a few shares of this, but let me know. So as always, uh, if you like my videos, think about uh, putting a thumbs up, sharing it. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, think about subscribing. And uh, let me know what you think about Tesla here. I think it's a very good company. I'm going to maybe put a little bit of capital into it and kind of see what happens with it. So yeah, I just want to talk about Tesla. Um, give me your ideas and we'll see you next video.